Hi, welcome to the Pink Moon Tarot. I'm Nikki, the Pink Moon Tarotist, and I'm here to give a general money and prosperity reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign of Pisces. Now, this is a general reading, so it won't resonate with everyone. So please do pick up what does and leave the rest behind. This reading goes from the 5th of April to the 18th of April inclusive. So it's for a fortnight, two weeks. And... If you are a cross watcher, welcome. If you know your moon, your rising or your Venus, then you can always go and check those out. And look at what's on the bottom of the deck, the sun and the moon. That's how I'm about to start my shuffle. Now, if you would like to like, share and subscribe to my channel, that would be very much appreciated. And if you would like the opportunity to win a private reading with me, then head on over to the video that will be linked in the description box below. That is my giveaway video. When I reach a thousand subscribers, I am going to give away a free private reading. All you have to do is subscribe, obviously, and write the word subscribed beneath that video in order to be in a chance to go to win that reading. So you're just going to a, um, a random draw and I'll pick a winner when I've got to those thousand subscribers. Okay, so without further ado, let's point the camera down and see what I'm using the Lightseer's Tarot. Because it is the tarot that, uh, well, I just wanted to. <laughs> it's one. It's my favourite tarot deck, to be honest with you. But shh, don't tell the other tarot decks. I don't want to put them off. <laughs> Okay, what do my lovely Pisces need to know about money and prosperity for the weeks beginning the 5th of April? Money and prosperity for Pisces. Money and prosperity for Pisces. Thank you. We have the strength card. And the Nine of Cups. Master, my lovely Pisces need. Thank you. We have the Eight of Wands. Oof. Oof. We've got an oof. <laughs> what else do we need to know for Pisces? That was a few too many cards there. Sorry. That was just me throwing them all over the floor. Let's try that again, shall we? What else do my lovely Pisces need to know, please? Okay. And we have the Five of Pentacles, Justice and the Sun. The sun has got his hat on. How still my lovely Pisces need to know, please? Oof. The Three of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Ooh, and the Ten of Cups. What else do my... Ooh, thank you. Nice energy here, Pisces. We have your overriding energy is the King of Pentacles. Now, the King of Pentacles, that earth energy, he is very satisfied. He's very prosperous. He's very wealthy. He's very generous and fatherly and giving. Um, and basically, he has worked hard and now he has everything he needs. I mean, look at him. He's just sat there satisfied with his wolf at his feet and uh, and his big old pentacle in his hand. He's got the wealth that he desires. He's got everything that he needs. And this is your overriding energy. So it's a very lovely, um, stable, secure, prosperous energy to have overall here. And really, really lovely. And it might be to do with a person in your life who is an earth energy. So that's the Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. 
um but it can just be the energy itself you know that energy of feeling abundant of just feeling like you have achieved what you wanted to achieve and looking at the cards i gotta say i'm pretty impressed here pisces what a great couple of weeks so we'll start off here with the strength card strength is about being strong from within whilst being gentle as well with others so you've got the lamb and the lion the strength within and the gentleness towards others it's about being strong with humility you know not being aggressive not roaring at people but just that inner strength that inner quiet and you may need to draw on that inner strength at the start of this fortnight because underneath that card we have the five of pentacles and the five of pentacles it's that feeling of being left out like you've been ostracized somehow like you've been pushed out left out in the cold you can see here the girl she's sitting with her head in her knees in the dirt you know feeling very sorry for herself but what she's not noticing is the door with the five pentacles behind her it's lit up there's a big key there and it belongs in that lock there all she needs to do is take that key put it in that lock and she can go through that door but she can't see it because she's too busy feeling sorry for herself with her head in her knees. So there may be at the start of this fortnight, you may be feeling a little bit wounded, a little bit left out, a little bit less than. But just remember to draw on that inner strength. Be kind to yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Be gentle towards others as well. And notice the the abundance that's around you, you know, just Look at what is available to you because I can guarantee you more is there than you realize if you are in that mode of feeling very sorry for yourself and burying your head in your knees. And then we have the card of collaboration, the three of pentacles. Again, pentacles, earth energy. This is about building, developing, growing something. You know, this is about productivity and making money and the three of pentacles means working together with others now this doesn't necessarily mean you know you may be a person that works on their own i am but i still need to collaborate with other people you know in order to give them what they want i need to know that people trust me that they like me and all of those kind of things so there is always someone that you you need to collaborate with in order to make your business a success if you are a, a business person, you know, or if you are working for somebody else and you're working in an office environment or, you know, on a builder's yard, whatever it is, then, you know, that sense of cooperation and collaboration is what is going to make you successful. So being a good team player. And then we have up here next to the strength card the nine of cups i love this card look how joyous she is there's a big old box of treasure underneath her there's nine cups that are flung in the air she's jumping for joy this is the universe wanting to give you your dreams your desires your money you know this is the universe wanting to give you that gift it's a very happy and joyous receiving of money abundance help love whatever it is you need it is there the universe wants to give it to you underneath that we have the justice card now justice is all about having that balance in your life you know she's holding the scales of justice there you can see her mirror image and um and it is it is all about knowing the truth, being balanced, being um, stable, being secure, being steady. It can also represent legal matters. If you have any new contracts to sign or anything like that, always please check the fine print and get an expert to look over any contracts that you may be wanting to sign. But it's a good time for that. This is about justice. This is about balance. This is about natural law, okay? 
So the universe wants to give you a gift and the natural law says you should receive it. Love that. And then underneath that, we have the Six of Cups. So this may come from something from your past. The Six of Cups, you know, um, Cups being water energy, obviously. Um, I, I don't know why I said obviously. You may not have known that. But, you know, you are a water sign. So the Cups in this reading are very prevalent to you. And the Six of Cups is that card of nostalgia. The card of thinking about the past you know, um, in a good way and maybe someone or something from your past coming in to give you a gift of some description to help you along your way, to collaborate with you because we have that next to that three of pentacles. So it may be somebody from your past that is coming in to collaborate with you and help you to get the success that you deserve. And whatever is going to happen in this two weeks is going to happen really quickly. We have the Eight of Wands here. This is my card of warp speed. You know, in Star Trek, when they go into warp speed and all the stars kind of disappear rapidly behind them and it makes this kind of image. And this is what this card reminds me of. So it's it's creativity. It's movement. It's It's rapid movement. It's things coming in quickly, but it's good energy coming in very, very fast. And it's next to that nine of cups. So this is, you know, the, the gift from the universe is coming fast. And we also have underneath that the sun, you know, the ultimate joy card, your manifestations coming into being getting what you want, joy and abundance overflowing. I love this card so much. There is nothing negative about this card. It's to do with illumination, with, with shining a light on what it is you want, what you deserve, giving you your manifestations, helping you with the magic, with the connection. It's really, you know, it's all about soaking up that sun and enjoying life. You know, the universe going... I'm going to give you a gift. It's going to make you feel the ultimate joy and it's going to give you your heart's desire. And I love that. Absolutely love that. Especially as we then end with the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups, Tens are a completion of a cycle. And this is the last card in the reading. It's coming underneath that Eight of Wands, that Sun. You've got the nine turning into the ten. This is abundance overflowing. This is love. This is luck. This is family. You know, it's all of the positive elements just being there. You know, that over the rainbow feeling. I mean, they're sitting on a rainbow here and the cups are all rainbow colored. You know, it is that feeling of abundance and joy and your dreams coming true. It's the family, it's the community, it's the unity of everybody coming together and really being able to enjoy life. And it's enjoying a prosperous life. Don't forget, we have this King of Pentacles as our overriding energy here. So this is about you having the money that you need and you want to have that good life, that joyous, happy life. The universe is there ready to give it to you. You know, um, all you need to do is receive it. So be open. Don't feel like you've been left out in the cold. Try to get rid of any negative energy this, this fortnight and, and try working with other people in order to build your energy levels up and in order to increase your your manifestation power and just let the magic happen. Get balanced, you know, and whatever you're working on, it's like you have the Midas touch here. You know, <laughs> it's it's just it's beautiful. It's beautiful energy, Pisces. OK, I'm going to take a work your light oracle card. What else do my lovely Pisces need to know, please? Mm 
We have Starseed, what lights you up? I love that. Yeah, see, the universe wants to know. The universe wants to give you what you want. So what is it? What lights you up? What gives you that joy? What gives you that sense of purpose, that sense of being abundant? What lights you up, Pisces? Love that. As to my Pisces, need to know. <laughs> Sorry, that was too many. Too many. Let's try that again. What else do my Pisces need to know, please? Okay. We get deep replenishment. Retreat, rest, and be held. Oh, yes. Let the universe support you. Let others support you. You know, it's time for you to enjoy being you. Time for you to rest and just revel in life. Okay, as you had Starseed there, I'm going to take a Starseed card for you. As to my lovely, these are also Rebecca Campbell. As to my lovely Pisces need to know, please. As to my lovely Pisces need to know. you and we have earth pulsing pulse of the mother slow down time in nature okay so you've been told t twice now to rest <laughs> so you might want to listen okay take time in nature that's so beautiful i love that because when we ground ourselves with our earth magic you know we connect to mother earth or mother gaia Mother Nature, whatever you call her, you know, um, that's the time that we really start to make magic. That's the time when our manifestations truly come into being, when we are truly grounded and supported. As to my lovely Pisces need to know, please, which I know for you, Pisces, is not always easy. You tend to be a little bit away in the stars. And we have the golden children, inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. Ooh, yeah, you see, Pisces, you are a very intuitive sign. And you are very connected to the cosmos and to the stars. So you probably do have some pretty rare gifts. And, you know, accept you're a golden child. I love that. Enjoy it. I'm going to take a magical mermaids and dolphins just because you are Pisces. What else do my lovely Pisces need to know, please? What else do my lovely Pisces need to know? Thank you. Soulmate relationship. New romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. I don't know who needs to hear that. And I don't know who that relates to, but one of you at least has got a soulmate relationship coming in. Love that. Nothing to do with money, but, you know, the cards will say what the cards say. What else do my lovely Pisces need to know, please? <laughs> we need to know these cards jumping all over the place. Dream big. Let go of small thoughts about yourself and see yourself succeeding. Yes, I love that. See yourself succeeding. That is the ultimate tool of manifestation. Okay, I'm going to take a healing with the fairies. These are also Doreen Virtue. Thank you. And we have problem, res Ooh. <laughs> problem resolved. So if you do have a problem at the start of this week, it is going to be resolved. Nice.
Okay, what else do my lovely Pisces need to know, please? Thank you. Financial flow. Love it. You see, this is a good week for money. Financial or a good fortnight for money. Financial flow. I love that. Okay, I am going to take a Wisdom of the Oracle, I think. These are Colette Baron Reed. What else do my lovely Pisces need to know, please? Thank you. New life. I love this card. A new life. Wonderful, Pisces. What a positive, positive two weeks this is. I love it. Do we want another one of those? Hmm. Yeah. Let's take one more. What else do my lovely Pisces need to know, please? Ooh. And you may receive a message possibly from someone from your past, because you did have that sick of cups there. There's a message in a bottle. So this is about messages coming in in ways you're not expecting. So that unexpected connection, that unexpected information coming in, that unexpected message from someone or from someone you're not expecting to hear from. I love that. Ooh. I'm going to take a healing with the angels. Not that I feel like you need much in the way of healing right now. <laughs> and we get two cards. Trust and miracles. Trust that life is going to be going the way that you want it to go and expect Miracles. Miracles are going to be happening for you, Pisces. Oh, I love that. I love that. A beautiful energy. Okay, my lovely Pisces, I am going to leave it there before I turn up something drastic. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Um, but gorgeous energy here, Pisces. If this resonated with you in any way, then please do drop me a comment in the comment box below. And do let me know if this, you know, if these miracles and this abundance and new life, all of this stuff, if this starts happening for you, I would love to know about it. But until next time, please remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Namaste.